right? Your food group needs to, to be dependent on your age, the sex, the height, and the weight, and the physical um, activities. Like certain people, they only do little moderate physical activities compared to people that are like more sports, they're really into sports, they're like working out every single day. The vitamin it helps your body absorb iron. That's one of the main things we need for our body. For fruits, it has its own natural sweeten. So if anybody that's not diabetic, that's the serving size. They will have their regular serving size, but compared to a patient that's um, diabetic, and the best way to cook meat is like, if you're like, how you can bake it, boil it, grill it, it, and they have those air fried too right now, nowadays, that they use a lot nowadays too. So those are some of the things that just have to really watch out on how you prepare your food. You can still buy food, but it's just the way you prepare it too. The bread size is like one slice of per meal. Different kind of amount over there at the store. For the whole amount, H2 1% or skin mail and they have a lot more calcium in blue mush blue cornmeal to add in that with the white flour and make their fried bread like that too so so but otherwise this is like the serving size for fried bread so that's like um I know somewhere they like that size we're like um Comparing the um, calories at one time, mm -hmm. the bigger one has a lot more calories than the smaller one. It's good to always snack in between the two meals. So let's just say you have breakfast and um, having a snack in between, a healthy snack, and by noon time you won't be as hungry. It pretty much tells us like ingredients, how much calories like how much salt, how much sugar, so, and it tells us nutrients. So those are some of the stuff that um, food labels tell us. And then it includes like serving size, uh, your number of servings, your calories, um, like it tells you about the fats, the sodium. So a lot of the times we see this first one, um, and then just recently, this new one came out, so it kind of like does like a split, and then you can see it has per serving, and then it gives you all the information for the whole container. This one, this newer label, it kind of breaks it down more. So we still see that um, our serving size is going to be three pretzels. So if you eat three pretzels, that's going to have 110 calories, uh, 400 milligrams of sodium, and then all the other information down the list. But then this new food label, it'll tell us for the whole container. So that just means it's going to be three servings for the whole container. So then, um, you're going to get more calories, 330, and then more sodium, 1,200 milligrams. So that next section at the bottom after your serving size, that's the calories. And how much calories should we have daily? 2,000. 2,000, yes. For an average person, it's 2,000. OK, and then again, like too many calories that can lead to overweight and obesity. And that just means like macro are big nutrients and then micro are smaller nutrients. So like saturated trans, and then you have your unsaturated fats. Um, our second macronutrient, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates is just a big word for sugar. And then we want to our saturated and our trans fats low because those are bad fats. Sodium is just a big word again for salt. After the cholesterol, you'll see the sodium. Um, it's usually measured in milligrams on food labels. The average person needs 
2,400 milligrams of salt per day. Does anybody know how much that is? So if you take uh, a teaspoon and you scoop out like some salt, that's already 2,300 milligrams. So carbohydrate section, it'll tell us total carbohydrate and then it'll break it down, just like the fat section. Um, it'll break down our fiber and then total sugars and then added sugar. So added sugar is the one we want to keep low. Just a helpful tip if we're buying canned fruit. Oh, say you're used to like buying like, you know, the heavy syrup one. One step to take would be to take that um, step of buying the light syrup. And then once you're used to that, probably go to the next one where it's just like, you know, the natural juices. So the way carbohydrates work, is that it goes through the process in your body where it converts to sugar and then sugar gives us energy throughout the day so if we're overdoing it with sugar it's gonna lead to our body struggling to try to um, pretty much convert that sugar to have energy and then if we do have too much sugar it's gonna be pretty much um, wondering why it's not working to make energy for our body so after that it's just going to store so we only want to have the appropriate amount of sugar we don't want to have excess sugar most people need 25 to 35 grams of fiber every day fiber helps with digestion protein is just pretty much your um, meat it's measured as grams per serving uh, most people need 50 to 80 grams of protein per day. Do all people eat 2,000 calories per day? No. Oh. No, why not? Because nobody doesn't obey that. <laughs> yeah, people don't obey it. Why else? What are other reasons? People don't know how to count their calories. People don't know they how to They don't read the, the box. <laughs> yeah. So, also too, a reminder, you know, some people probably are like on a diet themselves, oh, yeah, yeah. so they restrict. Or even think, you know, like bodybuilder, they probably get more, <coughs> more than, yeah, yeah, more of that 2,000, more than the limit, I should say. Genevieve has a food demo for you guys, so if you guys want to swap your chair. It calls out for the uh, yogurt. It's a uh, low-fat yogurt. And then this one would be the, uh, the light mayonnaise, less fat. And then same way with the, um, we got a uh, lemon and some ingredients or seasoning here. And today we're gonna go ahead and do with some with the bell peppers. This is one of the one that I was talking about, fiber. It has a lot of um, um, fiber in it. Here it's here. Bell peppers. Just cut these on bell peppers into smaller bits. And then to have it as a snack too. Like maybe with a real light ranch. Some of these um like the bell peppers. And uh, even with the um, carrot same way and then with the apple too. Those are some of the good healthy snacks that you guys can have. I'll go ahead and uh, cut some apple here. It has like the protein on there. Okay, I forget one cup now. I just have to just um, put it over it. So we can just go ahead and just shred it right now for like a, a cup. Ask us for a cup on this one. Apple in there too.
for the yogurt. It asks for five um, tablespoons. Calcium coming in from. It's two, three. This one it calls out for um, one tablespoon again on this one. One quarter teaspoon. Just sprinkle this over it and mix it real good before you add it into. Um, it's good to get all the liquid ingredients mixed all together first and then adding it onto the rest of the food. It's a lot better doing it that way too. So. That way it gets all over the uh, food. It has a lot more colors to it right now, so we'll go ahead and do that, and we're gonna go ahead and cut up the uh, the cabbage right now. This one is always good because um we always got used to using the regular cabbage. Okay, this one asks us for um, two cups of cabbage. the mayonnaise and the mayo that we mix separately. We can just go ahead and add it onto there. Oh, it tasted delicious. Better than hot Cheetos. <laughs> it's healthy. It was good and it was healthy. <clears throat> So we're gonna make a smoothie today. So all we're doing is a cup of the frozen mango. So this is gonna be a cup. We're gonna put it in our blender. And then we're gonna do a cup of strawberries. So a cup, strawberries. That's gonna go in fresh pineapple. One cup again. So that's going to be one cup, goes in your blender, and then orange juice, one cup again. Pour the orange juice in, then we're going to blend it. Want we'll to turn it on? A fruit snack, mm -hmm. so you can use it as a snack instead of, instead of you know drinking soda, yeah. eating chips. Mm -hmm. We can snack on that instead. It's healthier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does this already have the uh, uh, the recipe? Yeah. It has, oh, yeah, when you oh, fold it okay. up. Right. Yep, it has it on there. All right. It tells you the ingredients, and then all you do, like I was doing, oh, you just add it to the blender. Oh, okay. Blend it up. Mm, that's good. Yeah. I never did make anything like that. Oh, yeah? Or this is the first time. Oh, yeah. Blender, you can always do like a lot of different things. Oh, Smoothies. 
Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's like a lot of different ways you can play with them. Um, your blender oh. and making oh. different smoothies yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is good. Oh, and Junuko, how is that? You love a smoothie with your hacky. First time I tasted those, not Aliyah. That's good. Jun's a cunt.